If you were planning to take a trip around the world and you were going to be gone for 80 days, what would you need to bring? Well, that's quite a task to figure out. And uh, I'm about to show you the gear and clothing and items that I've selected to make that journey on this four continent, 16 country, 80 day adventure around the world. This is everything that I'll be bringing over my 80 day trip around the world and all of these items will fit into just two pieces of luggage, a carry-on backpack and a rolling duffel bag. Let's start with some of the essential items. Here we see my master playbook which has all of my uh, daily uh, activities where I'll be, flights, hotels, visas, e-tickets, train tickets, so forth and so on. A, uh, portable little uh, tripod, hat, rain gear. This is a G3 uh, Feutech handheld uh, gimbal for getting that smooth uh, video with a GoPro camera. This is a uh, intervalometer remote control for the A6000 camera for my time-lapse photography and remote photography. A number of different uh, power adapters for the various countries that we'll visit and being able to uh, have power in those countries. A number of different um, storage cards. Here we have a, a SanDisk Ultra 64 gigabyte card, an Extreme 32 gigabyte card, another Extreme 32 gigabyte card, another 32 gigabyte, a 4 gigabyte backup for the drone, and a 32 gigabyte uh, micro SD. Uh, each of these items that I'm bringing, a lot of the high tech equipment requires a lot of different uh, power uh, and charging mechanisms. These are, here are three uh, A6000 batteries for the Sony A6000 camera and the unique charger required to charge those batteries. Another unique charger for the Feutech handheld uh, gimbal for charging those batteries. Another unique charger for charging the GoPro batteries. Two extra batteries in addition to the battery in the unit a USB wall uh, charger. This is a, another wall charger that has four USB outlets for charging multiple devices at once, very handy. A 3.0 uh, USB card reader, uh, cleaning supplies for camera and lenses. Uh, here we have an underwater housing for the GoPro camera, a number of different backs for the GoPro camera and, and uh, different gear for the GoPro. An in loop uh, battery array uh, for the my headlamp and another unique charger again. Uh, this is an Owen Di Oyen Digital one terabyte solid state backup drive for backing up all the videos and photos. This is a, a 264 gigabyte solid state drive, a 64 gigabyte thumb drive, and a 16 gigabyte thumb drive. I made a custom carrying case uh, for my A6000 camera. This carrying case will go in the top of the backpack. Uh, this is the A6000, which is a uh, 21 megapixel, uh, 1080p, high definition uh, video camera. Very small, very compact, very lightweight, wonderful for traveling. And a 50 to 210 telephoto lens for those t uh, wildlife shots in Africa. Another uh, Hero Black and underwater housing. The uh, power cable for the uh, Samsung ATIV Book 9 Plus, uh, very lightweight, very wonderful notebook computer, high definition screen, and a solid state drive, great, great uh, device. Two pieces of clothing I'll travel with me in the uh, carry-on backpack, a lightweight uh, down vest, and a super comfy uh, uh, plush uh, sweater uh, and both of these will double as uh, ways to protect all of this gear which could be damaged during travel so it's actually clothing warmth and protection all in one this is an, the Eagle Creek uh, backpack which I'll be uh, utilizing it is a TSA friendly device you have your tablet here your laptop computer there and apparently you can put this on the conveyor belt and uh, they don't have to see anything beyond 
I guess they can see everything they need without taking it out and putting it on a separate uh, uh, container, which sometimes you're afraid of losing that. Here's a three liter uh, water device or water uh, container for when I'm uh, traveling and uh, uh, when I'm on the road. So that's everything, all the expensive gear goes into that backpack. Everything else goes inside of the Eagle Creek uh, rolling duffel bag. And here we have a uh, protective case for the Amarillo carbon fiber lightweight uh, tripod. You can see, so lightweight, amazing uh, device. The Gobi 320 panoramic head, lightest panoramic head in the world. A Acrotec leveling device uh, for doing panoramic photography. A Magnus fluid motion video head um, for smooth video uh, when I'm in the field. A power storage device for powering up uh, different components, my S4 phone and other components when in the field, uh, monitors and so forth. Here is the DJI Phantom Vision 2 Plus uh, quadcopter and we have one battery in the unit currently and you can see four additional backup batteries in this custom carrying case which also is a backpack with a controller and uh, this will hopefully protect all of this sensitive gear during the not so gentle luggage handlers uh, throwing of my bag on board the plane so hopefully that'll work we have four pair of additional props for the quadcopter a waterproof bag a columbia long sleeve t-shirt short sleeve t-shirt semi dress crew shirt another t-shirt here we have a toiletry bag uh, one pair of underwear that's right you heard me right one pair of backup underwear one that i'll wear i'll wash it and then i'll have one backup three pairs of socks uh, my headlamp a couple headbands a number of different uh, electronic spare uh, components car chargers and backup uh, power devices for the computer and so forth a cd-rom dvd player a security cable for locking my suitcase in the hotel when I'm not there. Um, uh, some silk underwear, tops and bottoms, very lightweight, very comfortable. It won't be too cold too often, but when it is, it'll be nice to have that. A um, pair of shorts, pair of cargo pants, two pair of Columbia uh, hiking pants, a high-tech, very lightweight uh, raincoat from Columbia, a uh, sunshade hat, a pair of sandals, these wonderful storage bags from Eagle Creek, which allows me to organize all of my clothing, pants, underwear, uh, shirts, so forth. Each goes into their own component, rolled up, keeps them semi-unwrinkled, and also backs as storage and for uh, protection of these. Well, there you have it, everything that I'll be taking on my 80-day trip around the world. And if you're wondering if all of this gear is going to fit in those two pieces of luggage, well, watch and see.